Hello guys, this is Cooking with the James. I am your host, James, and today we're making pasta because I'm hungry. And so, we're going to use this thing from Agnesi, Agnesi, whatever. It's pasta, it's good, it does the job. And to go along with that, we're going to use some tomato sauce made by Prego. It's the mushroom variant with herbs and Italian stuff. And uh, since I'm not vegan, I'm going to use sausages. It's pretty cheap. It's very affordable for college students, so uh, yeah. Alright, so your next step would be to pour the pasta in the cup. You can use any cup you want. I chose this cup because it's black. Now I chose the color black not because my soul is black. That's like the lamest thing to say, but because I just have black. Also, you have to remember to open your bag because uh, I forgot to do that beforehand and uh, I used a knife. Now it's pretty dangerous to use a knife because uh, you can accidentally hurt yourself. So I suggest you use a gun because guns don't kill people. People kill people with guns. So once you get that open, you gotta, you gotta pour it into the cup. Pour as much as you want. I decided to pour like the amount that's in the cup. That looks pretty good, all right. Now just give it a little pat on the head and there we go, that's your pasta. So once you get your pasta situation out of the way, it's time to cut your meats. The meats that I have today are sausages. Now the sausages here I have are pork, I think, maybe, I don't know. They're probably made by like human meat or something. I have no idea, but they taste pretty good. They're all right. Now you can see here I'm struggling opening the package, but you're nothing, nothing can stop me from getting my sausages, all right? Remember to grip them tightly because they're slimy and slippery. If you don't grip them tightly, if you don't have strong uh, grip strength, they uh, they slip away. Also, when you're cutting, you have to be gentle. You have to be really careful, really precise strokes. You see there, I didn't really cut all the way through. And uh, some of my strokes, so it's very rough, right? All right, once you have your sausage situation under control, you're gonna boil your pasta now. So grab your cup and then gently pour the pasta inside. Once, I, once you finish that, you gotta pour in your salt. I have this uh, really cheap salt thing right here. Just gotta open it up and shake it, put some salt inside. And uh, once you're done with that, you gotta add a bit of oil. I use the, the overpriced stuff from those really bougie supermarkets. So I uh, put a few drops of that. That's a bit too much, but uh, you know, you do you. If you like your nudes nice and oily, no one's gonna judge. Up till this point, you guys should be throwing your garbage in the bin to keep your workplace nice and tidy. Oh, and speaking of garbage, here's my Instagram. I post pictures and pictures. It's pretty good, you guys should go follow. I mean, please give me likes and followers, cause like, that's, 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 you know, what makes me popular, right? Yeah, that's what boosts my ego. Please follow me. When I reach one follower, I'm gonna do a big giveaway. The giveaway is gonna be a chicken nugget, so if you are, if you are the first person to follow, please email me your address, your credit card number, and the, the three numbers at the back. Also, don't forget the date, and I'll email you the website where you can download the chicken nugget. All right, okay, so back to cooking. Make sure to stir your nudes. This ensures that your noodles don't stick together. So stir around until you get your desired texture, and once that happens, turn off the heat and uh, drain the noodles. So once you've done boiling your pasta, you're gonna wanna cook the pasta in your sauce. So now I'm gonna start off by putting a bit of oil in the pan, and then I'm gonna like move it around, get it covered all nice in the pan, and then I'm gonna put in some Prego tomato sauce. All right, so instead of just commentating throughout this whole portion of the video saying boring things, I'm gonna answer some of life's more philosophical questions. So I'm on this website called 105 Philosophical Questions that'll make you think and elicit debate. So let's start. The first question is, what is the meaning of a good life? Well, I think the meaning of a good life is to have good pasta. That's why I'm showing you how to make good pasta. All right, second question. Is there a perfect life? Wait, hold on. This is about life. Wait, let me find something good. Second question. Can spirit I can't even pronounce that word, god damn it. Second question, <laughs> does fate exist? No. Third question, will racism cease to exist? No. Fourth question, should full access to the internet be a fun? How is this philosophical? It's just like random questions, wait, hold on. 
Third question. Wait, fourth question. Question. What is the meaning of rich and poor in the modern world? You have money and you don't. Easy. Okay, next question. Do acts of kindness have a motive? Okay, I've been thinking about this one actually. Um, like people who do charity, are they doing it because they're actually like they actually want to be charitable, or they're just doing it for the attention? Like I, we have this thing in our high school, like charity events, right? But pe- oftentimes when people do charity events like that at school. They get praised by teachers, by parents, by other、uh, classmates, and so do people really do charity because they want to do charity because they feel that it is the right thing to do, if, like for the world, or are they doing charity because they know that they're going to get praised and they're going to become popular and it's going to boost their ego, right? If you're going to do charity, why don't you do it in secret? Like why you don't need people to know, right? Like, for example, the Australia fires that's happening right now. If you're gonna donate, then just donate, right? Don't have to tell people. It's it's kind of weird. Like, I don't I don't know. I I kind of got lost in my own thoughts there. Okay, let's find let's find next question. Another question. All right, next question. Will a world without reliance on modern technology make any progress? You know, progress. I think progress is determined. At, progress as humanity, as a species, is determined by the advancement of technology. All right. So, if we don't use modern technology, if we don't use the technology we have now, we can't progress further than what we have now. Right? Because future technology, future advancement. Depends on what's happening now. You can't advance. You can't make something new from nothing, right? It's it, everything comes from something. Development, evolution starts from somewhere, and that somewhere is modern technology. If we want flying cars in the future, we have to use what we have now, what we have in the modern world, to make flying cars, right? Make pro- human progress evolution. So, yeah. Oh, right, by the way, pass is finished. Once the pass is finished, you uh you gotta serve it. So you grab your white plate or any color plate. It doesn't matter. It just has to look good. You know, you gotta be a gotta be a chef. So you gotta dump your pass in. That looks hella good. Really delicious. Mmm, master chef level shit right there. That's very nice. So once you finish cooking your pasta, you of course have to taste it. And I gotta say, this pasta is very delicious. I give it a score of like a seven out of seven. Pasta noodles itself were pretty firm, really nice and bouncy. The sausage was really flavorful. It's all right, I guess. The sauce was really nice and tomatoey, really creamy, really tart, really nice. So that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoy, please give it a like. If you really enjoy. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.